Hello everybody, Reaper the Cardiac is here, and today we have a video on GT, based on the title of the video, I'm pretty sure you already knew that, but anyway, I want to discuss, is GT really trash? Like, is GT really worth all the hate it gets? Like, to be honest, I'm gonna be honest with you, I actually enjoy GT. Granted, it could do without a certain element like uh, <clears throat> Pan, but to be honest, GT really has a memory in my heart, and yes, it has a large contribution with um, the villain designs and Super Saiyan 4, which is pretty much everybody's excuse for even watching this crap. But honestly, I like GT. I like the story of it, I like the idea of it, and how it could have a continuation of the series. But would it be like to admit it? I Toriyama had little involvement with Super. Same as though with GT, but to a much lesser degree. Like, he did, barely did anything with GT. And I don't even think he did really much of anything besides give a couple character designs. Like, but for Super, it's really different. Like, this was makes it, the debate with canon and stuff actually matter. Because when it comes to Dragon Ball Super, Toriyama actually puts in his notes for what he wants the arc to be. And what it consists of. That is why the manga and anime are very, very different. But with GT, I don't think he really had anything to do with it. I mean, certain elements you can tell that was so Toriyama that it can't be replicated. So I'm just like, really, it doesn't matter what's canon or not. And I had to come to this realization once I realized that Gogeta may actually be a thing. Even though I favor Vegito. So I had to swallow my pride again. I've been doing a lot of that for most of my videos. Just swallowing my pride and admitting things that I don't want to admit. Because there are some excellent moments in GT. The fight scenes are actually okay. And it's, like it or not, it's almost a little bit more polished than Z. In a lot of areas, even. Like, when you get to Super Saiyan 4, pretty, everything else is pretty much just flows. Even before that, it's actually a good arc. And, like, people can really enjoy everything about GT. Whether you like it or not. Whether you hate the fact that Goku gets turned into a freaking kid again. A goddamn toddler, mind you. That's younger than his freaking granddaughter. Or maybe you just don't like the way the Super Saiyan 4 literally has to take your shirt off and then goes back on when you're... Oh my god, the anger and the cringe. I'm not gonna lie, some things are a little bit nitpicky, but other things are not. And most things are actually pretty damn valid with GT. For starters, the timeline is actually very relevant and it makes a lot of sense. Which is why I like Super and GT almost equally. Almost being the relative word. Because Super is like... I'm not going to say it's amazing, because it had this flaws, episode 5, <clears throat> Freezer arc, <clears throat> etc. But other than that, it's not really that much trash about it. I mean, Super has really been the true successor to Z in every sense. The transformation, the power-up, and yes, power scaling is a little bit crazy when you get to the tournament arc. And then, the thing about the villains with um, Dragon Ball Super is, there's not many villains in Super. In fact, there's only one villain in Super, and that's Goku Black. Or, better word, the Zamasu. There's not many villains in Super. Everybody else just has circumstances of why they're fighting. But in, in Dragon Ball GT, it is literally a villain after the next. Which is why I like GT. Because it's not just tournament after tournament after tournament after tournament. It's a literal series. And it's not just a bunch of tournament arcs shoved into one thing. Because that's what people think the shonen genre is. Just, oh, throw a tournament arc in there. And should do some fun characters. But it's not. Okay? In anime... Explores and expands on the lore, which Super does swimmingly, but GT has a better motive of how it does it. 